All right, one of the first things I've noticed in uh, doing these uh, egg carton is that they seem to hold on to the water a lot more aggressively than the cardboard. The cardboard uh, drains out nicely and it's, you know, field capacity, it's damp to the touch, but there's no excess moisture. The egg cartons are almost more spongy. They seem to hold a lot more water, so I'm going to let them kind of uh, drain and, and air for a little while so that they're at a good capacity before I cut and put the mycelium on them. All right, the first thing I'm going to do this time, uh, this is some nice oyster mushrooms, and I'm just going to rinse this off with cold water just to uh, kind of reduce the, uh, the chance of there being much of any uh, whoops, <laughs> contaminants having settled on it because there's uh, there's no protection in the store from that sort of thing. And contaminants, uh, spores or bacteria or whatever are ever present. And I'm going to use um, the oyster for this particular experiment, which is on the uh, on the egg carton, because I've had really good success uh, getting oyster mycelium to run. I've got some rubbing alcohol on a napkin to kind of sterilize my knife with. Probably ought to do the same with my fingers a little bit, clean my fingers up a little bit. All right. Now one of the things that I noticed in the store was that uh, this box of oyster mushrooms had spores, uh, spore prints, lots of spore prints. And I've laid the egg carton pieces in, um, I basically I cut them into small pieces and I've laid them in here uh, to take advantage of the air gaps that will naturally form. And I'm just going to slice up some pieces here and stick them in there. And then put other pieces on top. This won't be as air or as light tight as using regular cardboard, but it should work. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work. So there is a quick uh, oyster mushroom on uh, or oyster stem butts. Oh man. This uh, particular container may be a little bit too airtight, although there's plenty of air in it. There we go. And drain out that last little bit of water. I guess I guess it's just visible water, not really running. Okay, so I'll put that in the cabinet for a couple of days to see how that does. All right, just a quick addition here. Um, I put sticky post-its on my uh, containers with what's in them and the date that I started them, just to keep track of things.